What's up, fellas? How's it going? How's how's it how's it hanging? You know, pretty good. I was wondering how this was gonna go because we talk to each other fairly regularly. What's your name again? Uh, John Jason John Roach Jason John John, John and uh, I can't even think of a fake name for Jason Jace J C. People like Dryer. <laughs> Dryer. Okay. Okay. Now, I guess before we start, since we have two different people on, and so we can identify the who's who, uh, why don't you give us a very brief intro about who you are? Uh, we'll start with you, James. Who are you? Uh, my name is James. I'm a composer, musician, sound designer, etc. I work with audio. Um, I've known Sung Wan a long time. I think we met through Twitter and like Vine stuff, and. Mm-hmm. Uh, we play board games together occasionally, and that's our, that's the extent of our relationship. Mm-hmm. That's it. <laughs> um, how about you, Jason? Uh, I'm Jason. I also play board games with you. Uh, my full name is Jason Dwar. I'm a storyboard artist who's worked on various uh, TV cartoons, and I'm currently on Craig of the Creek. I was going to say, you got to say you're on Craig of the Creek. Craig of the Creek rules. It's uh, a great show. It's a great show. I love being on it. Great crew. Now, uh, before we get, like, actually, no, we're getting started here. Uh, I did ask Twitter for some possible topic suggestions, and you guys, after, like, ten minutes of kerfuffling, were like, yeah, no, there could be one. So why don't we start with one? Uh, What's one that you want to jump into? I really liked the question about, you know, video games that made us emotional or cry. And uh, my my Mm. answer for this one, immediate, uh, the game Bastion is my favorite mm. game of all time. I know Anne Marie's played it, but have you played it Sung Wan? Yeah. It's ad game stuck with me and I, I can't really explain why. Just it just it really got a lot out of me. It was just mm. What would you say is like I guess without spoiling anything, like describe why I guess you could say that you don't know why, but think well, about it. There's what about it makes you emotional? Without spoiling anything, if right. you can. I, I love the music. I love Darren Korb. Darren Korb is one of my favorite musicians. And I know Bastion was kind of like an introductory like a soundtrack for him in terms of mm. like video games and stuff like that. And it uses a lot of garage band loops, which a lot of people could, But it I think it works so well. Um, mm. As far as like emotional hits, there's this scene at the end that I, I'll try not to spoil this like 10-year-old game for you. Um <laughs> <laughs> This, the choice you have to make at the end, I think, is really great where it's, it's you know, the, this choice between, without getting too into it, do it again, like, you know, start over or leave it as it is, you know. And mm. uh, I think that's really good. There's this scene with, you know, Zulf where he has to carry him at the end. You can choose to do that or not. And it's just, it's such a, I don't know, the... The choice, like, finally a game, finally a game that gives you a choice. You know, just, <laughs> I, I okay. really, it really stuck with me. Sure, that's that's a great answer. How about you, Jason? I feel like, for me, like, the the highest, like, peaks and valleys emotionally have come from, like, multiplayer experiences. Oh, interesting. Because okay. I used to run, like, you know, like, fighting game tournaments, like, and stuff <laughs> in, like, college. And, like, uh, yeah. even stuff like Monster Hunter, like... When you finally get that like plate or ruby, oh, that's oh so an you're talking about high. like emotional highs. Okay, interesting. Yeah. I think we were going more for like uh, tear tear jerking or get, tugs at your heart, uh, which I'm, I'm not saying these can't these cannot, mm-hmm. but it's a journey with your your friends, your actual friends. No, that's true. That's very true. <laughs> uh, are there any games that like I don't know if games make you cry or at least got you close to that. Mm-hmm. Probably would be Vivi's storyline in like Final Fantasy IX. Mm. That was the first like oh, RPG I played. Man. Like uh, like like uh, you know I'd watch uh, RPGs I'd watch at like friends' houses. Mm. And, like uh, like when I finally got around to like oh I have I have an RPG. That's the first one I played. So I have a pretty, I think a bit stronger connection to Final Fantasy IX than the other ones. Also, it's the best one. But Vivi's mm. storyline is, I mean, there's a lot of you know. I think the uh, without spoiling it, the ending to that game is one of the is, is so emotional, so emotional, so like mm-hmm. beautiful to watch. Uh, and I, I mean, I think Freya's whole storyline in that is you know mm-hmm. v- very emotional. Um, it's it's yeah. great. I think in terms of character moments, you know, 
that game has some of the my favorite, some of the finest uh, emotional scenes. I think that mm-hmm. are character driven. And it was There's a great game for having a, a little cut co- because you could give them the second controller and they could do a little bit of things. I like oh, that. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, here you go, buddy. I never actually tried that, uh, the whole like playing it multiplayer or whatever, but sounds interesting. As far as for me, uh, let me just look back at uh, what I've played recently. Um, uh, Firewatch. Uh, if, have you guys played that? Yeah. Mm mm. James, have you played Firewatch? I've I've seen a playthrough of it, but I haven't played it. Okay, so you've basically played it. Okay. Uh, yeah, like uh, <laughs> that one's it's different. Really good. I think like, I think that's a very different experience watching. Yeah. Some, this is I the, I'll hard go into. I think it's very different watching someone play and playing it. Well, it's, okay. Let me let me let me ask you: Are you watching it with commentary or without commentary? Without. And even then, you think something like Firewatch is completely different. It's not happening to well, Firewatch. I mean, okay, sure. <laughs> <It's about laughs> Firewatch. But I think I think it's a completely different experience to be at least somewhat in control of yeah, you know, yeah. like what's happening. Of course, just like it's because it's happening to you or your proxy, I guess, as opposed to like you're watching some. I don't know. I yeah, there's a connection there because you're actually making like a physical you, connection with yeah, what's happening on screen. There's a tactile button press that you're doing that makes you feel. You know, like like a <laughs> like an experimental lab rat, where you're like, I pressed the button and got the response. It was me. I did it. You know, but well, no, I know what you mean. Though, like, I was talking to somebody pretty recently about this. Like, what what makes a game? You know, why what what makes your experience worth being a game versus being just like a movie, right? Mm-hmm. And it is the immersiveness, right? The immersiveness of I really feel like I am, and, and movies can do this too. But it, it makes it even more immersive when you have to do things, right? Yeah. When you have to pick up the object and read it, or when you have to go through the. I mean, I'm talking, I'm talking about Firewatch right now. Going through the cave, kind of going through it over and over again. Which through a movie would be like, why the fuck are they going just walking through this cave <laughs> over and over again? But mm-hmm. in a video game, it's like it's because you're familiarizing with yourself and getting to know the location. Even even getting to know the location feels like something that is, you know, character development. You know, you're becoming more in attuned to your surroundings. Um, I, I mean, some of the games I'm about to mention that I, I, you know, What Remains of Edith Finch, have you guys played that? I nope. have not, but I've I've run into a video essay or two just playing on my, <laughs> like, YouTube, what's next? Here, this is it. You're going to know all about this game. Now, that's the way to experience video games. <laughs> oh, I, oh boy! Yeah, I oh. was very engrossed in the in the essays that came up, and I felt like, dang, kind of wish I tried this. I probably would I at think some point. You should. I think. I well, maybe unless they go through the entire game, but I still think it's worth going through, just because, like Kyle James is saying, you know, it's different when you play it. I think because you are discovering mm-hmm. things on your own at your own pace. Um, that game is amazing. Like it really. That has stuff where it's like this had to be a game, uh, what they were doing in certain parts. Uh, it's a very haunting game. I I really like that one a lot. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, Dragon Quest Eleven surprisingly had like some pretty intense emotional story beats. The Yakuza games, especially Zero, have some. Uh, yeah, no, there is like a. I've 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 said this before. I think at least in I don't know on the podcast, but at least to people like I I found as I've gotten older, um, it's just much easier to make me cry with like media, media <laughs> mm-hmm. and like reading, um, and I I don't think that's a bad thing. Like I think for me, it's just you know, my my empathy uh, levels. Well, I think there's also you know, a level of you know when you're younger you're like. Uh, only babies cry. Like it's like <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry at a that's, movie. No, that's true. Uh, only babies cry, it, and uh, oh I'm, yeah, yeah, right. I'm very and unimpressed. You, you never cried. No, mm. not once. That's not true. <laughs> I cried at the end of Monsters Inc. Like a just, just so bad. <laughs> like mm, it's a sweet ending. Yeah, 
it's it's the sweet endings that it's the sweetness that gets me the the sadness mm-hmm. whatever uh, sad passe try being alive but like <laughs> when something's really nice it just mm-hmm. it it rips through me because like Vivi's story like you were mentioning before Jason it's like it's sad and it's like yeah you know it got an emotional reaction out of me but mm-hmm. like uh, but you're a baby you're a baby for thinking <laughs> it, it, it affects you in any way yeah um, mm-hmm. not like not like me uh, but no just anything that's nice like like the end of Monsters Inc hopefulness will really get to me too yeah and okay. that's why the end of Bastion like I said there's like a hopefulness to it that it's just like oh ooh, you got me <laughs> like yeah. Mm. So you're telling me, James, you've never cried at anything sad in any. Oh, that's not ever. true at all. Uh, okay. Spoiler alert for 15 year old anime franchise. That's one of the most popular. When uh, when Kakashi died in the one part of Naruto, he doesn't even die though, no, he right? Does, he doesn't even stay dead. <laughs> You cried? I was, like, yeah, I got, like, teary. I was like, oh, gosh. Wow. I don't even... Oh. What, what part is this? I didn't even get that far. Yeah, I didn't get that far. <laughs> Sorry, I spoiled. Yeah, I don't I care. No, I don't this. care. Yeah, that, yeah. It's, like, it's like in the middle. It's like in the uh, Konoha invasion arc. Like, it's... Is that the... Is that is that like the is like Obito doing that or something? No. <laughs> like, what? It's when they're fighting pain. <laughs> pain... "Quote unquote kills him." Yeah, and then it's he gets like he talks to his da- okay. He dies and he goes. Oh, and he talks, he to, talks his to, his dad. to his dad. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. They're always that... talking to their dads when they die in Naruto. Mm. <laughs> I thought this was the equivalent the of like days. crying over like Krillin dying in Dragon Ball. Like, <laughs> what, you, what do you think? You think he's ever gonna come back? Okay, no. <laughs> talking to dads, talking to like, uh, you know deceased relatives that's different that's fair game i mm-hmm. i get it now okay yeah um jason anything uh that made you some any examples of some things that made you cry uh, do you cry easily first off with like media? i definitely i definitely weep i'm mm. not listen bit of a weep when uh another anime spoiler since we're keeping it anime like listen <laughs> Cutting in, spoilers for Garen Lagan. Skip ahead two and a half minutes ahead, or just watch the show. Like, what the hell? When Camino went down, that hurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I felt Man, that. Man, we're not, we're not even prefacing these with like, so in Garen Lagan, <laughs> spoiler alert. Yeah. Everybody yeah, knows you know. what Camino is. Listen, I, 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 I feel like you cultivate a certain crowd that might <laughs> <laughs> have That's a familiarity. True. But Jay, yeah, yeah, I'll leave it up true. to you if you want to put in the spoiler things. You decide. I don't care. Um, yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah, a... Jay. <laughs> yeah, Jay. Uh, that's Love definitely it, Jay. a thing. Like, uh, that scene is so rough because uh, it's hopeful at the same time, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Because, you know, he get. I mean, I've seen that scene so many times. Uh, I can go over through it by beat by beat. But, like, you know... That, like, initial stab through where he screams, right? And everyone just sort of reacts in horror. You're like, mm-hmm. what? Oh, my God. Like, this isn't happening. And then he gives the speech. The music plays. You're like, he's fine, right? But you know he's not actually fine. But mm-hmm. you're like, but but he can't. I mean, it, it, this is like One Piece, right? He can't die. This is like first half of One Piece, right? No. Yeah. Um, And so it's, you know, oh, man. That... I would, you know, I would argue the saddest part is also the most hopeful part, where they're, you know, they're doing the speech together and the music is playing because you know, deep mm-hmm. down, you you know he's he's fucked, <laughs> you yeah. know he's not gonna get out of this, so that he stays strong, goes out with a bang. Oh man, that's uh, that's a doozy. Yeah, that's a good yeah, answer. If, if I'm remembering it right, there's a music cue in that that like got like it was like whoa i love yeah. this where it's like mm-hmm. the music's playing and then it just stops when they realize that he is just dead and mm-hmm. i'm like oh that's that's good it's, it's are you talking about right at the end where he like goes to white or whatever yeah yeah like yeah. With, yeah 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 mm-hmm. just everything yeah. fades and i'm like ooh. and then they have the silent it's like rain and then they're just yeah. like yeah, the oof oof mm-hmm. uh well okay 
Go ahead and put a spoiler warning in front of that, Jay. Just, <laughs> just in case Probably somebody listening to this has never seen this You're show. You're one fan who doesn't like watch it. Yeah, I mean, you you I know you know. make fun, but I, I am actually, I actually like to be careful with spoiler That's stuff true. because yeah. you never know at what time and what pacing people have, are watching stuff. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. for people our age who are giant weebs, like, of course you've seen it, but. Not everyone has seen it, That's so true. Jay, you we know. We just what recently to do. had a rewatch with um, like a bunch of people who hadn't seen it before, and it was, that was a lot of fun. Oh, okay, okay. so you're exactly that. proving my point, and you decided to not preface it with a spoiler warning. Okay, wow. Yeah, Good to know. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, I listen. This is a very casual atmosphere. Like I'm just talking with you. <laughs> forget. No, I don't do I a want... lot of interviews. I got. I'm... I forget about the audience. audience this isn't an, This isn't an interview. Don't call this an interview. This is okay. a casual. We're hanging a casual out. Casual. Com- okay. The yeah. fact that the fact that, that you mind. feel that way is a good thing. That's okay. a good thing. Um, now I'm trying to think of because I don't know if I answered stuff that made me cry. Uh, because I don't know if any of the examples were games I said made me cry. How's the game? Has the game made me cry in recent memory? Let me. It's always. Sh- I-, I would say movies, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Shows. And lately, manga. Manga has. can get mm-hmm. me really hard. Like, um. James, you've read it, but Jason, Our Dreams at Dusk, have you read that? Uh, no, but everyone's talking about it, and it's, like, in my Amazon, like, wish list now. I think I'm gonna. It's, it up it's very, very good. Uh, James, without saying anything, do you remember how that ends? No, no, I don't remember. How oh, it ends. Okay, okay. I I don't think I'm. I was reading it like as it was coming out. Uh, oh, I see. Like as you it was being absolutely... translated. So I, I think I need to finish it. Absolutely finish it. I won't say what happens then. It's not even like one thing that happens, but there is a like yeah. a thing that happens near the end, or not near the end. At the end, oh, I was like, I was weeping like openly. I was like, it, it's. It's so good. Like, that manga is just beautiful. So, uh, that's one recently. Um, that was a manga. Any shows? What have I been watching lately? Uh, wait. What's on? Let, me, let me look at my look at my list here. The Mandalorian. <laughs> I remember you made me cry. No. I, I mean, that. is there anything in that that would actually make not, you cry? Not really. No, it's yeah, just, it really. was just a fun show. Like that's what I liked about mm-hmm. it. I didn't have to think that hard about it, but I could still enjoy mm-hmm. it. Oh, you know what? You know what's actually well. Okay, it's a giant spoiler, so I'm not gonna say anything. But uh, uh, there's there, there, you know the stuff the stuff near the end of season two, before the very end of season two. That's like, okay. Uh, there, there's a little bit. There's, of like, there's some very nice character, you know, tender character right. stuff, uh, with old Pedro Pascal. Uh, mm-hmm. and, uh, at the end of, have you, are you caught up on that, Jason? On um, the Mandalorian? Yeah. Yes, actually. Mm-hmm. There's just gotcha. something about knowing it's him under there, but not being able to see his face. I like it. Ooh. Oh no, it's great. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I got a thing for the armor. Uh, I mean, I I like the armor. I like his cool guy voice. He does. I like that he's <laughs> he's got eighty weapons and can just he's like he's like my OC. <laughs> like like I'm sorry, this guy has a flamethrower and like little mini missiles and a cool speed. Well, that's a thing later. And <laughs> and like a, a plasma rifle that can blow things up to bits and cool knife hidden knives and, like i'm so and a like a fucking wire thing i'm not even listing all of them there's other things he has like i'm sorry like wow you really did, like tools and devices kind how did boba <laughs> fett die so easily oh <laughs> Ooh, spoiler alert yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. Can't believe it! Can't, no one can listen to this whole episode now. Guys. We gotta be. If you can only listen to this episode, if you've now. watched Star's War. Uh... Anyway, um, yeah, no, the Mandalorian's great. There, I, I would even say there, like, I didn't cry in Mandalorian, but stuff that like, uh, w- I, you know, get me. I got. I think I got a little teary, and even then, like, I think like five years ago. Would I just be like, and maybe just like, no, no, I'm not, but I don't know. I think things have just happened in my life where I've just gotten more <laughs> emotional. 
Uh, I don't know. Like, and, and, and I, and I think, and I, you know, um, I'm not self-conscious about it anymore. I think that's refreshing. It's yeah. refreshing to not feel self-conscious about like, oh yeah, no, I cried at that. It, it, yeah, it made me feel the way that they, the, they intended and it, it makes sense. Um, we're kind of doing a gonna... bit about toxic masculinity being like, oh, you baby, you cried. But no, none of us actually feel that way. I think right, getting right. older, you, you get more honest about your feelings. Like, you, mm-hmm. you're just like, I don't care. What? There's no need to keep up appearances or whatever. It's like, yeah, right. man, I cried at the end of Mo- – like, like I cried so hard at the end of Monsters, Inc. Like, not – no joke. Well, how recent was this? Every time I watch it. Like, oh, it's... yeah, that's that's mm-hmm. fine. Yeah. it's They went through a journey. It's yeah. just like, you know, people watching with me are like, are you going to be all right? <laughs> like, it's just <laughs> – he's got the little fragment on his clipboard <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's a it's a really great ending. Uh I I thought of a, I thought of a game that I cr- I did cry at like recently and then sure. it's like it's such a huge spoiler I can't even talk about what's it. What's the well, what's the game? The game is okay. Final Fantasy 14 and there's a part in and if you know, you know, everyone listening is like I know exactly what he's going to say. There's this mm. part in Heaven's Word where a character dies. Okay. And they mm. talk to you like, you know, they die protecting you mm. and what they say to you is is like oh man i'm gonna remember this forever and then in the most recent like some of the most recent content mm. you have the option to comfort someone and you say what like you can choose the dialogue that they said to Whoa. you which is a, a smile better suits a hero because you know mm. he's he's telling you this as he's dying and he's yeah. like oh, he's like don't oh you smile you know and then he dies and it's mm. and, oh man, that, I was like, oh no, <laughs> that really like <laughs> that got me. Yeah, no, that uh, and again, I love that you can call, the fact that you can call that back. That's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Final Fantasy fourteen is a great game, and uh, the trial is basically two free games. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta hand it to um, <clears throat> like the Final Fantasy like MMO series. I don't think I've heard anyone rave about an MMO story. The oh, way yeah. that, like, like, what's the story like, of WoW? I don't fucking know. Mm. I don't there? think people care. Oh, or people even know. As much. Just ask Wilco. <laughs> he knows. I um, used to but... know. I used to be so into it. But now seeing like an MMO with a good story and not just a story that you have to pretend is good is really. Mm. <laughs> I've dumped so much time into this. Uh, uh, Arthas, uh, bad? <laughs> like, <you know>? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> Warcraft. I don't know. I've had some friends who are very into like. Like the the story from the RTS games, mm. MMO not as much. Oh, like yeah. just class, actual Warcraft three stuff, like the stuff like that. Yeah, were they people? One of the four people alive that enjoyed the the live action Warcraft movie. I wonder. I'll have to ask them. <laughs> they probably didn't. It, people I know who liked Warcraft did not like that. Yeah, movie. it was visually like pretty great, but it just it was just nothing. It's actually not exciting story you know i'm gonna be honest all. whenever anyone tells me anything is visually great Visu- but, yeah, i'm like i'm like yeah that's the lowest bo- no, okay that's not fair because it's like obviously a lot of craftsmanship and a lot of work is put into yeah. making things visually great that's not what i mean yeah but what i mean is like mm-hmm. when you watch like you know warcraft the movie i think you're just expecting it to you know look like Warcraft, right. right? Like, if they were just, like, sock puppets and stuff, you'd be like, whoa, maybe... <laughs> that I'm might a, be great. Uh, yeah, it would actually, actually be kind of awesome, but, like, for me, no, first you. and foremost, it's writing, right? Writing is what's most important. Um, if the writing is not good, unfortunately, unless it's just spectacular visuals, but even then, it's hard. It's hard, like, I don't know. Incredible cinematography. Uh, yeah, yeah, without the, you know, yeah. even if it's got incredible cinematography, it, it, it doesn't matter to me if I don't care about what's going on, right? We're giving Jay yeah. a conniption right now. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta have somebody you enjoy like watching. Yeah, like mm-hmm. yeah. go through the, whatever like trials they gotta go through. Yeah. Um. Now, besides, I was gonna say one more thing that like I didn't cry, but surprisingly emotional is and i've talked about this before love live sunshine the anime to love live mm-hmm. sunshine okay. i kid you not like me and jay watched through like all of love live together and we watched through sunshine 
and we were both blown away by how emotional it is. Like it, yeah. it's a very different kind of feel than the original show. I know neither of you care about this at all. Well, James, no, you, you, you. <laughs> I, I liked the original Love Life. Yeah. Oh, yeah no. I'm, in, I'm invested in the bond that you and Jay made over it. You, got, you guys <laughs> definitely strengthened your bond. Oh yeah. I mean, I could feel it. I, I listen. We, we are gonna go on an anime, anime pilgrimage for sure. But like, I, I may bring it to anime night because I do legitimately think that at least Sunshine is excellent it's an excellent anime and like it it is very moving uh Mm -hmm. i mean it's the same writer as sound euphonium so i and i I see a lot of Mm -hmm. interesting sort of parallels i think sound euphonium is the better show but i still think sunshine is actually not that far below it like like it's it's i did not expect it to be as good Mm mm-hmm I didn't. If I'm being totally I honest, I didn't expect them to be good. I was like, these might be, <laughs> these might be fun, but they are both way better than. And I'm, I'm, I, and that even sounds like I'm discrediting it. They're both very good uh, shows. Mm-hmm. If only Rakugo anime had a rhythm game tie-in to hook you. Listen, man, I'm gonna watch the Rakugo <laughs> anime. It's on the list. Uh, Actually, like pretty recently, I actually was like, maybe I'll start, and then I didn't. But it is. But listen, <laughs> wow. the fact that it's being considered, like, I, there's some movies I want to watch first, and also right now I'm trying to oh. uh, watch some Ghibli movies so I can get a. Oh, this will date it, but I'm working on a Ghibli movie. Well, I hope I make the video. Now that I'm talking about it in the podcast, but I, uh, well, now like a yeah, tier you, list now video. that you've talked about it, you have to kind of yeah. I, I am probably gonna do it, or no, I'm most likely gonna do it. So. Uh yeah, I'm right now I'm watching a bunch of Ghibli movies. Uh, only yesterday I just watched that recently, and that's a that's a great. It didn't make me cry, but it made me feel a lot of emotions. That mm-hmm. like, especially like wistfulness and like you know, mm-hmm. I don't know if you, either of you seen that movie. Is that the one where um she moves out to the countryside? Oh, uh, she doesn't move out, but she visits the countryside, and she's reflecting right, okay. on her like youth. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Have you seen that, James? Yeah. Uh, no, but we were talking about it huh, only yesterday. Right. Uh-huh. Um, and <laughs> the the way you described uh, it, it's like, oh, I would love this movie. Okay, you should sit down and watch right it. It's alley. it's really really good. Like it it, it makes it makes me reflect on you know you know I think a lot of childhood memory stuff, and this is a good thing. You make you oh I miss being a child like and oh it's so, but what that movie does an excellent job of is, it also makes you go on reflect on like. I don't know, just like sad moments of childhood, like and you and, and mm-hmm. or, or like regrets, like and you know kids can you know uh, there's a scene I won't go into too much detail, but she kind of like reflects back on man I like could have been like nicer to like to, and like to this kid or whatever, like and I feel and it honestly made me ref- go back and feel like yeah there were times where I was not nice. You know, like, I was never a bully, but, like, you know, I mm-hmm. could have been nicer. I could have been, like, and, uh, you know, things that you're not necessarily proud of. That movie goes into all aspects of childhood. Like, you know, you know, the the really nice memories, the really just sad memories, the stuff that sticks with you. Like, uh, highly recommended uh, if you have not seen it yet. Interesting, interesting uh, sort of segue here yeah. because I know this, and I think Jason might know this, but maybe, maybe the listeners, dear listeners, don't. What kind of kid were you, Sungwon? What what was your like kid thing that you were like? What was your genre of child? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, you're gonna make me go. You, I, I like we like just recently talked about. Well, James has heard this before, but what kind of kid was I <laughs> growing up? Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, long story short, and I always preface this as like, and we're talking like elementary school age then? Yeah, let's start with it. Yeah. Oh, we'll start with that? Are we going to go through let's, my life tell story? Me about your, <laughs> tell me about your childhood. Uh, it's your someone. journey. Okay, elementary school. Um, I grew up in Minnesota, uh, and from, I'd say kindergarten to sixth grade, we, it was the same school, and uh, I sound very punchable when I talk about this. Um, because it really, is that, it, is it really James sounds like you're just making this up. Like, but I, I'm really, I'm really not. 
Uh, I was in in school, elementary school. I was I was a uh, quote unquote the smartest kid in the grade or whatever. Like this was not a title that I gave myself, <laughs> but I I you know whatever. I I did very well academically. I was always you know top of the class, whatever, right? <laughs> but <laughs> I was very well liked. Uh, like I you know people thought I was funny. <laughs> Uh, which was a big boon in my favor, I guess. But also, I think I was just like, you know, relatively nice kid, right? Like, uh, kind of a little sarcastic, a little, you know. But um, I think people uh, enjoyed that. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna go as far to say that I was like the most popular kid, but I, I was in the circles of, <laughs> I guess, the quote unquote. In elementary school, we didn't really have any, like, bad click problems or anything like that, where it was like, oh, we're the popular kids, you're not. But in terms of the kids who were, like, really, I guess, quote-unquote popular, I was, like, in, in those circles. And looking back, it's like, I hear, because I hear from other friends, like, oh, like, I hated school growing up. I, you know, uh, some, of, some of my friends, you know, were bullied, and I'm just like, oh, God. I'm, I call myself I'm the Usopp of the of the Straw Hat crew. Like <laughs> everyone else had tragic backstories, and I'm like I'm just you know on this island. <laughs> no, I'm not island, but Usopp <laughs> Island had a good time. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's that was the kid I was. Uh, I will say though, maybe second half of elementary school, very emotional. Uh, kind of tying back to you know the first half of this podcast, but. Uh, easily, um, definitely had more of a temper, definitely Mm. could, and definitely like even more, you know, could cry more easily as a kid. Uh, not necessarily in school context, but, uh, I think there was like one, one or two times where I like maybe, you know, lost my temper or something, but I actually, it was more so outside of school where I maybe had, you know, I was more more of an emotional kid but that's very interesting to me because you you don't lose your temper now. Mm, you don't you know yeah you're i wouldn't say that you're the most reserved person i know because you know you can get excited about sure. things mm. um but yeah you're you're very very chill sort of like yeah not quick to anger yeah and i i uh, I, I think i've said this before to you guys but to the podcast listeners for me the sort of emotional div- uh, dividing line was uh, my grandma passed away when I was in end of sixth grade. Uh, mm-hmm. And so before then, like maybe like fourth or sixth grade, you know, very emotional, you know, blah, blah, blah. Could cry maybe a little easier. And then after that, I, it definitely was like, why? This is what is the most emotional, devastating, you know, one of the most emotionally devastating things that can happen to me. Everything that I was concerned about mm-hmm. before seemed like very stupid in comparison, right? Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, like in in high school, in the early parts of high school, I did. Well, that's when hormones kick in, right? So you're like, okay, like then I then it was like angry fights <laughs> with my dad, which is so <laughs> funny to think about now because I get along so well with my parents and like. A chill and mm-hmm. a completely chill relationship but um yeah no that was um that was me as a kid now i'm curious what were you guys like uh from like elementary yeah, I school hear, age I hear baby jason yeah well yeah okay let's hear baby jason <laughs> we're gonna hear about baby james in a second baby jason awesome. what mm-hmm. what kind of kid were you uh i don't know like uh just just a little okay. guy um, and much well, I was a giant I guy, you know. Uh, I was just gargantuan. Yeah. No, no, go ahead. Actually, got smaller. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a key detail. Uh, I don't. Know. I love Power Rangers. It was very easy to make friends who love Power Rangers. Um, like I don't. I don't think there was a uh, too much there. I think like a uh, in high school. Like I think when I was going in there, my dad said, "Listen, you're either gonna get all A's." Or you're going to play sports or something. Mm. You need to be involved. So I was not going to get all A's. I'm not, listen, I would, I'm not the smartest kid in school. Like some, <laughs> yeah. Like, so. <laughs> this is why I'm always like, listen, I know. I know. Yeah. I know. It's, it's, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just, you know what I'm, you know what I'm doing. 
Well, yeah, so I like I played um, sports a lot. Like I was uh, played junior varsity JV football, did like lacrosse mm. for a bit. So I don't know. I get it. I got along with people pretty well. If you're in a sports team, uh, the sports kids call you by your mm. last name. Yep. <laughs> Which is yeah. interesting. Oh, yeah, like, oh tell hey, me Dwyer. About it. Yeah. <laughs> I was Roach for such a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know. And so you're just kind of like a pretty pretty uh sociable just get along well with everybody sort of kid yeah like i mean i don't know it's just it's easy to find like it, like we were at the stage where like everybody played video mm. games right mm. like no matter what like you could find it in somewhere like someone played final fantasy or like halo or street fighter or something and so there was always like an inroad with somebody with a game well let me ask you this who'd you when you at lunchtime what kind of kids did you sit next to? Ah. This, I think, will give me a better picture. Sarcastic assholes. Oh, okay. Probably. But, like, were they, like, <laughs> nerds? Were they, not to, like, l- go strictly by labels, but, like, were they all, like, yeah. sports guys? Uh, or were they, like, you know? No, I didn't hang out with the, the sports guys. The guys I hung out, like, played, <laughs> they played in, like, what was it? It's, like, the Cal O, like, Counter-Strike mm. League. Mm. Or whatever. Like, uh... You know, they would go, like, they'd have land parties with, like, some of the rival teams. To so practice, you sat next to the people the that weekends. I sat next to, basically. Like, yeah. Yeah, just kind of like the, you know, uh, game, the video game kids or, like, nerdy kids. Not, like, nerdy nerdy. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Like, the, you know, there's, like... Uh, the insufferable nerdy kids? <laughs> that was yeah. my territory. <laughs> was, that, was it actually? <laughs> Let's let's go over to James now, young James. Oh no! Um, All right, elementary school I, first. I've mentioned before I was a weirdo in elementary school. Okay. Um, I played by myself a lot. Like I, you know, during school, I, you know, sociable and all of that. Kind of a mean child, a little bit of a bully actually. Because mm, <laughs> it's like I was really small as a kid, and you've met me now, where it's like, oh, I yeah, I had like a growth spurt in every direction you know? mm. <laughs> sideways so, like. yeah big cylindrical man now but like um yeah, same. back when i was i was like a runty little kid and so i was like i was picking fights with people who were bigger than me but like um in my alone t- in my time alone which was a lot because i didn't have a lot of friends mm. um, i would like I, I told you guys that i made like fake armor for myself i was like a larper <laughs> like a proto larper as like you know like a seven-year-old in my like 99 cent store plastic shield and like (laughs) like night set i got a lot of mileage out of that Mm -hmm. i made myself little like weapons and my mom worked in a doctor's office so instead of like watching me uh (laughs) the doctor would be like oh you can play with these medical supplies (laughs) and Mm. so i had all of these like like weird like vials that I would just put soap in because it looked like potions. Hell yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hell, dude, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah, soap, like old, you know, like hand soap. It's all like sparkly and green and shit. I'm like, oh shit. And so I'd make a little, and I'd like construct myself a weird little like LARPer outfit and I would patrol my like local park because it was, I lived right next to the park, mm-hmm. which is the <laughs> best place to live when you're a child that doesn't have a ton of friends. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know, I had my school yeah. friends, but they all lived further away. I lived, I lived not only right by the park, but right by the school, like within a block. Like it was there, mm, so yeah. I was never too far from home. Um, but yeah, it was it was funny. So I would, you know, wearing my little like handcrafted armor, I would like walk around the park and like fight imaginary goblins and shit like that. Yeah, it's just a deranged yeah. child, is what I'm saying. Okay. Um, okay. And this was this was like I it's because I read like fantasy books because it's like w- when you're a kid and you have like a high reading level for your grade uh your teachers will be like well here's a hard book that's it's kid stuff because it's got dragons in it you know and yeah just change yeah you know um and then when you know middle school it kind of mellowed out I got into music and like I got more into like what I was doing and shit like that um but I met like D and D people, and it changed the trajectory so substantially of like my social life. Because, uh, like Jason, I I also did sports and stuff in high school, 
but I hung out with the just most insufferable. Like, <laughs> 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 huh, Monty Python. Is better... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> here's there's there's a lot of overlap between those yeah like um like in my neighborhood um the friend i had like we would play like like D D kind of games together and stuff like that and like uh rbs but he was like the star quarterback on his like high school team like <laughs> yeah my, my best shit. friend in high school who i'm still very good friends with uh uh he uh was on the football team you know big guy like you know very like uh very like well liked as sort of the the funny guy on the football team like mm-hmm. you know you know very very like you know everyone was like yeah like matt's great like um and so i think that definitely uh helped me score some points as well like like because it's like oh well that's the guy that you know that's a Matt's uh, friend or whatever. And also, I've said this before to you guys, but in my school, I was like one of two Asian people in my grade. So everybody knew who I was, um, right. even if I didn't know who they were. Um, and but... nothing's changed. Everyone knows who you are. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Uh, like, <laughs> I, uh, I had that one period in college where I could uh, rest in anonymity. But no, um... <laughs> In, uh, I met my, uh, I met my friend Matt, uh, and I've, again, I keep saying that I told you guys this, but I don't know if I've said this on the podcast. You know, I should, maybe I should have Matt on. I think that'd be actually a really fun conversation, but, oh, um, yeah. Yeah. uh, we met through in a history class where he uh, was reading an Inuyasha book and I went over and <laughs> was like, you like Inuyasha? And you're like, yeah. I was like. Yeah, I, it's really cool. And then we became really, <laughs> and that was the start of a a bl- golden friendship that lasts till this day. Like um that um so it's interesting like I think a lot of like I'd be curious cuz I don't think I knew any other football players on that team who at least would admit that they were like mm. super nerdy. But Matt didn't give a shit. Right, Matt was just like, yeah, I still, you know, I, like he, fucking loved the DS, right? He loved, you know, he was the first guy, like, you gotta get a Wii, gotta get a Wii, like, uh, you know, uh, I was more into anime, but he liked anime. I, I would introduce him to anime and stuff. I mean, that all. I mean, come on, he was reading Inuyasha on his own, so yeah, he was still right. a fucking mm-hmm. dweeb too. Yeah, you 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 got him. You don't have to do work. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, like, um. It's just interesting that, you know, after high school, for some people, then it's like, okay, I can relax. And, oh, people can know that, oh, I like things. But in high school, uh, for some people, we don't give a shit, right? And then other people, they're like, what? No. Uh, what's Pokemon? I don't know what that is. It's like, everybody knows what Pokemon is. And chances <laughs> are you're playing that now, right? But in high school... We know you yeah. love it. Some people were like, no, what is that? Like, Pokemon? I don't know what that is. Shut the hell up. Like, you know what it is. <laughs> Shut the hell in your mouth. Uh-huh. Um, no, I, I definitely knew people who were like, uh, what? what's that? Who, you know, like, what? what's Pokemon? Who were like, oh, Pokemon, this was my childhood. And I'm like, no, it wasn't. No, I remember. <laughs> no. Oh, you, Seth? Like, yeah. Eat, eat my balls. Yeah. I fell off it, but I never, like, like, Ugh, Pokemon. I just fell off it until like Heart Gold, and I was like, "Wow, why did I stop? Why didn't I pick up the other ones?" Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I, I fell off a... after Ruby. Didn't play Diamond Pearl when they came out, um, and then yeah, it was Soul Silver. It's same thing, Soul Silver. Yeah. And uh, you guys know David. Uh, he's also been on the podcast. Uh, oh, yes. Mewed. Mm-hmm. Uh, he got Heart Gold, and then we were like, "Hey, let's like." actually fill out our pokédexes and then we both got deep into it. Uh, Is that the beginning of your obsession with 100%ing games? Um at least with Pokémon. I have had that tendency before then. Um I was about to say like that's got to be something you've always lived with. I feel like. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> just, it doesn't just happen to a person. You're bored that. <laughs> yeah. Way. 
That's what I, I, well, I mean, yeah, there's like probably like a certain, like, you know, like, listen, I got to There's a drive in you that's always been there. It's always been there because I'm the guy who, since childhood, has always made lists. Lists of things, mm-hmm. right? Like I, you have oh, started oh, me making this, lists. You I, like? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, you like lists? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here's whoa, the thing, though. Do you like ranking people like stuff? James though are like, I started making lists too, and isn't it great? It's I am mm-hmm. notoriously unorganized. Yeah, and this has been like, oh, yeah, I have read this because you've talked about manga with me, and I'll be like, like halfway through the conversation, it's like I've read this. You know? yeah. yeah, exactly. Like I can pull up. My actual, it's literally labeled completion list, and I can go, hey, what are things that made me emotional? I can look at everything I've watched and read, or actually I don't have a list of read, uh, but watched and played in 2021, 2020, right away. It's extremely useful. Uh, once you yeah. start doing it, you never you never go back. Now, I will say, for some people, some people feel like it, like there's like a pressure, and it's like, no, 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 just if you enjoy it. You don't, like, if it becomes too much of a chore to, like, keep track of then obviously don't do it but for me i i do like seeing um going back and go oh yeah yeah i watched this because what will happen too is i'll look back at like what i've watched or whatever and go oh i remember who i saw that with or where i was um it's it's kind of like how almost like writing a journal right mm-hmm. um mm. when i go through like my board game ratings on board game geek uh most board games i can go i was either here or i was at a a board game lounge or i was or i played that online like i can remember where i was for the most part and i can probably remember a couple of people i was playing with um i think when it gets a little extreme some people will be like they'll log how many like who won who was there how many you know like that's cool but that would drive me insane that's loaded, like loaded, what they smelled like. Yeah, yeah, yeah what they smelled um, like, what they ate, uh, first words. This has actually been really handy for me to have you as a friend who like keeps these lists. Because I remember <laughs> yeah. I was like, the last time I left my house was to go see a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie on Valentine's Day. Mm. And you're like, actually, we played board games on like March 7th instead. Mm. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. that was the last time I left my house. Yeah. And just listening to you describe like going through these lists and reawakening these memories and like recalling so much i can already tell like when you get older your brain's gonna be so much healthier for than <laughs> mine i'm already, already like what helpless. happened yeah you know what i was doing recently uh just just because we were do we, we like I, I watched groundhog day with a couple of people and then we were like what were we doing last groundhog's day so I like looked up. I have I have a Google Calendar where I you know keep notes of like because I have to honestly like to keep track of what to like so I don't you know over like book things yeah. or whatever. But it's this thing of like I was looking back like okay twenty twenty and I was like oh nothing or <laughs> like you were like no oh wait no 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 for Groundhog's Day I was it was right before the nothing void like I was like oh god <laughs> in fact it was it? sad because it was like. There was so, there was so much I was doing like around, like that whole week, <laughs> and then I was just I just kept going back a year and back here and trying to be like, what is this? Like what what I wrote like, um, oh there was a thing where I won't say the name but like blank at four I was like, who the fuck is this? And I had to think about it and I was like, oh that's who you know like you know stuff like that like stuff I never would have remembered if I hadn't written it down like. Uh, I envy people who keep journals. I don't have the patience for that, but it mm-hmm. seems like it. Be, you know, live journal. When I was a kid, I used to do that sort of right. But I, I kind yeah. of envy like people who have like a record of not only what you did, but maybe the emotions you were feeling. Like that's wild. I don't know. Do you either of you have that urge or tendency? Yeah, uh, I. <laughs> I will sometimes get caught up in these loops of what was I tweeting on April forty third, forty third. Twitter's another one of those though. That's a good way of logging. Just like what was going on then, but continue. Yeah, what was I doing? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's. But uh, <laughs> uh, not anymore. No, I just I I remember very vividly being like like lamenting. I haven't left my house since February, and you were just like. 
I think we played board games, and then you went and you looked it up, and you're like, yeah, we played this game on this day, and we ate Popeyes. And I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, going back a year, uh, I uh, the, the weekend before I went to Disneyland, uh, oh, God, that's depressing to think about. Uh, mm-hmm. I... I had a recording. Uh, I Steve had a Pokemon party that weekend. Like, man, that's sad to think about. That I had. I mean, it was already sad thinking about you know getting bored playing board games together and eating Popeyes. Like that was already <laughs> sad. <enough. laughs> I already missed that. <laughs> oh man. Oh jeez. Um. Now, like, what are um thing I don't, you know i'm completely losing track of i was going to say something else but um just thinking about popeyes now yeah no i'm just i'm stuck on popeyes um <laughs> are there we're we're not at the end or we're kind of approaching the end uh is there mm-hmm. any topics you guys want to bring up or any questions you guys have anything you want to like touch on for this episode oh you, this is going to be a lot of dead air it gives us <laughs> Yeah, if not, and if there's not, I, I again, we'll just keep I'm, talking about you, shit. You know me, I'm just, I'm just having a great time hanging out with two good friends. I was wondering, actually, how did you two meet? Because I know, I think I know how I met both of you, and it's just something as uninteresting as, like, uh, Twitter, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Maybe. Actually, I think you and I, uh, James, I think we met at, like, one of, like, Melody Isa's parties. Oh, that's, that's, that's right. Wow, yeah. Yeah. The barbecue. Uh, That's where I met mm -hmm. a lot of people. Mm. I met Jason. The first time we met was at that parfait thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. What was that? What was that place called? It's gone now. It was here only for such a. Yeah, there's some Japanese restaurant, and you like. I was here. I was visiting. I think for an anime expo. I was guesting actually, and I think that was the year I I was here with Japan Crate. So. Uh, I was like signing all day. It was exhausting, and then our Bushed. and then our friend Dave, who's been on the podcast, uh, was like, "Hey, hey, want to come to this place and let's get dinner?" And then I went, and there were a lot of people there. And no, if you got you guys know me, I'm like, oh. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot I, of there's everyone... comes a certain point in like your career. I think is like someone who's you know like being popular online. Where the more people that are there. The more changes that someone's going to be kind of weird, too. Well, it, I wasn't so concerned about that, but there, that's true. And I have talked about this. But also, I just in general, like, if there are a lot of people I don't know, I tend to just mm. be a little quieter. And mm-hmm. But I, I had a good time. And, like, uh, uh, funnily enough, Jay was there. Yeah, uh, is this the infamous Jay? This was, Sunday like, Sunday. so they got yeah. this parfait that was, like, a it, you could share it. It was, just, you know, for the table. And it, was, it had all these ingredients in it. And then I don't know if it was Jay, probably Jay. He had the genius idea to just mix it all up together yeah. in this sludge. Like, and I was like, no thanks. I'm going to get my own little one. And I was like, this is delicious. Uh, and I mean, I, th- I think they enjoyed it, but it was nasty looking. I was like, you guys are <laughs> ruining this parfait. What are you doing? Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen a picture of Jay in front of a huge, yeah, part. just this nasty yeah. slush, this concoction, yeah, so which is blue. That was the uh, which mm-hmm. is blue. That was the first time I believe I've technically met Jason. Uh, although we didn't really talk that much, but we kind of afterward, I think we like talked a little bit, right? And I yeah. and I I think maybe I was like, oh, like I'll uh, I'll follow you on Twitter. Right. Uh, I think you were already mm-hmm. following me, and I was like, "Oh, well, th- they already know me." Okay, cool. I'll I'll follow them. And I follow like a, I think I followed you. I followed Jay. A couple people um, that I had not did not know already. Yeah. I, I think Amber as well yeah. was one of them. <laughs> Excuse me, but um, you. But I think it was. <laughs> this is kind of interesting. Uh, mm-hmm. You had a birthday party, Jason, yeah, we, yeah. which I was not invited to because we didn't know each other, right? Yeah, but, but you were hanging with Dave, yeah, right? I was hanging with out with Dave beforehand, and yeah. he was like, we oh, games. hey, like, yeah, we were just playing games. And he was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to a birthday thing later. Like, do you want to go? And I was like, 
what do you mean do I want to go? I don't know. The, like, I don't I'm not invited. And he's like, <laughs> ah, no, you know, right? you know, yeah, ah, that should be fine. And I was like, I don't. I don't know. This feels weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you walk into a room where everyone's playing Resident Evil Seven on the no, PSVR. no. I remember. No, no. I remember because like I was like <laughs> I uh, I thought about it, and then we were like, okay, what the hell? Like, I mean, I follow him on Twitter, and we met once, but if Dave says he won't mind, then yeah, I didn't. Let's go. And so we went to your party, <laughs> um, and uh, I didn't even, like, see you right away. I remember, actually, after I'd been there for a bit, because a lot of people were in the living room, like, playing, I think, you, like, you were saying Resident Evil and, like, Jackbox and stuff. But there was, like, a there was, like, one moment in your kitchen, <laughs> and I think it was, like, me, you, and Marie, where we could just kind of, I don't know if you remember this, actually. But we could just kind of mm-hmm. chill. We just chilled. And I was like, oh, hey, like, <laughs> happy birthday. And, like, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this... I do, actually. Yeah, and I was like, and then I just started talking to you about board games because I'm me. I don't know if you remember this. Mm-hmm. But as we were talking, I was like, you know, because this is when I start to, like, actually, like, you know, I like getting to know people mm-hmm. in a smaller context, right? I'm, it's going to yeah. be very difficult for me when there's, like, 20 people all screaming. But if it's just three of us hanging out in the kitchen just to kind of, like, you know, rest a little bit. Uh, I was like, this guy's, a, this guy's a cool guy. Like, and we talked about Twilight Imperium, I think. And, like, other, like, you know, all the games you were butchering for your minis for D&D. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I was I remember like. remember I walked in on this conversation because oh, then you showed us your right. D&D closet. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> And then I, I and then prepared. I made like a mental note. I was like, "This guy board games, okay, good to know, good to know." Uh, <laughs> Same. I was one hundred percent. I was like, "I gotta hang out with Jason more." Yeah. This is, this like cool. I was like, "This guy's a cool guy." Like I didn't doubt it, but you know, it's one of those things where you just get to know somebody, mm-hmm. right? And then yeah. Yeah. you know, I'm actually curious, like, what? Because uh, I it must I must have invited you to some board game thing, right? Like at my yeah. place, I don't know. Do you remember at all? Like, I'm trying to remember what the first board game we played together. Because yeah, that was the next time we hung out. Is like, uh, I was like, yeah, I'll hit you up for board. Was games. that like, was yeah, it at my cool. place? I wonder if that'll. It was, I think it was. It was a card based spy thing. Yeah, that I think so. Spy, I think a spy fault? Fault? No, 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 no. No, spy. it was like we, we were infiltrating a place. Card yeah. code names. We were doing. No, we were doing no. a heist together. Oh, Burgle Brothers! Yeah, yeah, that game ruled. Was that the first time we hung out? In like after that was Burgle Brothers. I think that's the earliest memory I got. Like, cause that game left a big impression. I can literally see when that was. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Yeah, you can. Okay. Never mind. You got the list. Let's see. When list. did I rate Burgle Brothers? Uh, <laughs> this is the importance of the list. This would have been. 2019 june it looks like uh yeah like like about two years ago was uh mm-hmm. burgle brothers i believe um let me just double check that because sometimes i also it'll also like if i re-rank it it'll change it but i believe that's probably accurate that's about the time because i actually have not lived here that long <laughs> in in the grand scheme yeah. of things um this was right after I moved here, too. Yeah, no, this would have been... Yeah. Uh, was it just us three? I feel like there was... Maybe Alex? Maybe, maybe Yeah, maybe Alex. Maybe one other person. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it, it's either Alex or Lucian, I think. Oh, uh, maybe Lucian, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, I uh, I invited you over, and then uh, we just started hanging out more and more, and uh, yeah, no. And I... Now you're a, a good bud, you know. I'm glad. I'm glad yeah. I w- invaded your birthday party without your permission. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Now we're talking about like maybe one day we'll go and we'll rent a cab and then we'll play <laughs> board Twilight game Ethereum. weekend. Oh, Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm serious about that. Board game Me isolation too. weekend. I will go. Yeah, like mm-hmm. I know that's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but for the people who act, because so I'm thinking maybe like I don't know separate weekends, but one that's just like board games so james none of your um mm, 
let's just hang out. No, 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 no. That's the James you're going with, is the... Oh, just hang out for a bit. Uh, no. This this will be for... This will be uh, uh, serious. Uh, like, we're going to we're gonna play games. Um, mm-hmm. But the uh, listeners that don't know, someone does impressions of his friend. Yes, like, I do. <laughs> I can do that. I can. I have ones for both of you. Jason's isn't yeah. as good, but James is, I think, pretty. Mm, so James is mm, now. You can't see my body language. It's it's a it's a good chunk of it. But, mm, Very important. Hey, mm, what's up, fellas? Mm, I uh, got a um, Taco Bell today. Mm, didn't like it. Mm. <laughs> It does sound like me. <laughs> There's you, and then Jason. Uh, Jason's got like, hey, buddy. You know, oh, this, hey, yeah. This kind of tone to your voice. Like, yeah, no, I do. I do like, I do sound like that. It's almost like, like, it almost sounds like a Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the de- What's the deal? It's like a, it's like a. Yeah, a sl- the way it goes high. Yeah, like, yeah. there's certain points. <laughs> Yeah, my sign fell somewhere around here, and then Jason's a little bit <laughs> nasally. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, no, uh, Jason, you just have a very, very, it's like a very um, friendly tones to your voice because you're, yeah. you're a friendly dude. Um, oh, thank you. I, I think you two are a bunch of friendly dudes, too. Now, what are your guys' impressions <laughs> of me? James, I think you've been working on it, right? I was working Ooh. on it. And yours was um, what? It, what was the phrase? That's just you already forgot. I'm not gonna remind. Now, you. keep in mind. <laughs> is, is your yeah? Yeah, I do. I do. And do then yeah. the, I think the one that everyone does view is when you go shit. <laughs> you oh go, yeah. Yes. Oh That's yeah. You and Anne Marie. You and Anne Marie have fundamentally changed the way that I say the word piss. So thank oh, you. Piss. Yeah. Okay. Piss. Yeah. <laughs> um and. Going back to that, yeah, I don't think you minded, but you didn't mind that we invaded your birthday party, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, no, I so actually, we just invited I, ourselves. Shut honestly, up. no. I was like, um, like after that, I was like, wow, I got like to know you guys a lot better, and like we started playing board games after. It's a net win. Yeah, like, yeah. No, I, I, like, um, and Dave, like, uh, I don't know, like Dave's always such a like social like dude. Like, and I've met so many cool people through Dave. Like. I already knew, like, oh yeah, who knows? Dave's gonna bring a new best friend. Who never, who, who knows what that <laughs> right, happens. right. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, I mean, I'm very grateful for it because uh, otherwise, maybe would we wouldn't even be sitting here talking, recording this podcast, right? If, if we'd be yeah. doing if something I... valuable with our time instead. And yeah, maybe, you know, who COVID, knows? Wouldn't, COVID wouldn't have happened, guys, if we hadn't gone there somehow. A butterfly effect. Yeah, this this podcast Ashen brought to you by Dave, the great introducer. <laughs> the... <laughs> yeah. uh shit okay well i think uh that's gonna be about it i will i do want to have you guys on in the future uh for sure yeah. but i think this is a fun uh introductory episode but uh where can people find you james where can people find you uh on twitter i'm at hamesatron i'm at, at hamesatron on most things and now i did just start a pillow fort which is jrsr uh, don't follow me there. <laughs> then why did you mention it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Okay. Yeah, it's Twitter, James of Tron. Got it. Uh, and Jason, where can people find you? Uh, I think I'm on Twitter at, at Nubbahe, N-U-B-B-A-H-E-Y, and on Instagram as Jason uh, M. Dwyer. Well, thank you very much, fellas. Um, it's um, been a, no, it's been, it's uh, been great. Uh-huh. Like, I, I really appreciate you sitting down and, uh, Shooting the shit, and uh, we'll have to uh, have you on again soon. Thanks, boys. Thank you.